to the Ashen Capital, we're just going to continue exploring this area. Only two things we really need to find, or three things we need to do. I need to find or locate Gold Mask. Gold Mask. We found Corin, but he found out that Gold Mask wasn't a true believer in the Golden Order. He more wants to establish his own order, I guess become Elden Lord himself, perhaps. And we need to find another seed bed curse. And then we need to go and give the three that, that we will then have to the Dung Eater. Uh, I expect we're just going to have to, as I said at the end of the last video, kind of find our way back up to the Morgoth boss room. Uh, I fell through, I fell into this place last time, which just leads down to the dungeon areas. Uh, no real need to go down there now. There's been absolutely no enemies on the surface. I can hear something walking around, but it might be in the sewers, so... Or it might be above us. Maybe we have to climb up the dragon, actually. Yeah, there's Corin who isn't happy. We should maybe actually go and check in with him. Did I check in with him? No, I already did. I already did. And so we can't get in here. Maybe we need to do some dragon platforming. Which we have done previously. That sounds like a tree guardian thing. Yeah, we did, I think this is the same way we got in last time. Yeah, that sounds like a tree guardian thing. I have the big staff. Oh no, 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 no. It's a twin blade gargoyle. I might start seeing some enemies now. Thought there was going to be a sight of grace there. Then. Um, there was a sight of grace here before, right? Yeah. But so maybe we. I can't remember if one of you guys told me where Gold Mask was, but. I feel like it would be a smart idea to go and check where he was pr previously. Oh, but the thorns have burnt down, so we can't really get up there. Oh, I don't know. We can. We don't need to go up the the, br the branches and stuff. So I believe that's where the round table hold was in there. We will go down there, but I'm just going to go and look for gold mask first. That does kind of look like it's been sealed as a boss door again. Oh, I could have. I think I could have. I just got over there anyway. Yeah, looks like it. Oops. Uh, yeah, we got the gargoyle. Might as well deal with him. Hey! Yeah, we can't go in here anymore. I believe this is where the round table hold was. Could be wrong. I've got so many of these now. Dude, wake up. Oh, 
Well, he doesn't have a boss health bar at least. If these things were. I can't hit me for the toffee. I'll take it. Slow down, dude. Eight thousand. That's <sighs> only eight thousand runes, man. Give me a break. I expect that this is a dead end. Oh, nice. Wasn't expecting that to be there. I guess it's being guarded by a powerful enemy. So. There's a little area back here, right? Got destroyed by that knight with the spear. Okay. Um... I'm going to explore a little bit further just because I'd like to find a site of grace to save me running all the way over here again. Alright. Let's uh, see if Goldmask has moved back to his former area. Right, so how are we uh, going to get up there? Oh, I guess we could just walk straight over there now, can't we? I'm just going to check up here the gold mask. But all the normal overworld enemies seem to be dead and buried in ash. That's what happens when I'm not meticulous about my bloody webcam before <laughs> starting. I don't think he'll be here to be honest. But... Uh, there's no uh, fog wall there though. Huh, okay. I really thought Gold Mask was going to come back here.
What are all the Gostocks still doing here, man? Fair enough. Alright, I guess we don't need to find a site of grace. Right, Ugh. let's go and give this stuff to the Dung Eater. Which, um. Which site of grace was it? It's not the Lindell Catacombs. Must be the road, underground roadside. I think I know how to get back there. Pretty quick. Hello, Omen Kin. Wrong way. Had to do it so it didn't get me on the ladder. Right, we've got three seedbed curses. Once again, I just have to hope that this isn't like an ending. Like right now. That would set me back quite a long way. I'm guessing that this is similar to all the others besides the chaos ending. I think you guys said it's only the chaos ending that locks you into stuff. to do this three times. Mending Rune of the Fell Curse. So we've got two of these now. Loathsome Rune just stated by the Dung Eater. Used to restore the fractured Elden Ring when brandished by the Elden Lord. The reviled curse will last eternally, and the world's children, grandchildren, and every generation hence will be its pustules. If order is defiled entirely, defilement is defilement no more, and for every curse, a cursed blessing. Right, okay. So it just becomes the norm, the normal aspect of it, right? Uh, we haven't, interestingly, we got, got an. I think we just summon Rani, I guess. Oh. Right. Why? Why? <laughs> I can't fast travel out of here either. Oh yeah, I can. And we'll just head in. Oh, I would I would go and speak to Gold Mask about this, but not Gold Mask. Um, Sir Gideon, but I can't. 
can't. So we need to head in a southwesterly direction. Can't quite tell where Goldmask is going to be, but if he wants to become Elden Lord himself and start a new order, then we'll probably see him on the way up, right? Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Nice. I might just pop one of these. For the extra health. Yeah, we can just go straight up there. Oh, Corin! Oh, come on, man. Oh, everyone's dead. Brother Corin's bell bearing found upon his perished flesh. Does it have the wheel? Robe of Corin the Cleric. Even after exile, Corin refused to recant his prophecies. And for this he was blessed with the guidance of grace. Since then the cartwheel draped on his neck has served as a reminder. The true guidance awaits those with iron wills, those with unwavering faith. Yeah, but he put he, he put some of his faith into gold mask, unfortunately for him. I suppose it has some sort of loose commentary on the uh, on the the power and political aspects of mass religion, right? Where ultimately a lot of it is to do with being a person of power, of influence, um, and less about the actual spiritual teachings of people who are at the top and in control. And when you're this devout, devout, um, that revelation can, is just like a complete shock. <sighs> yeah. Right, so this will lead to the Queen's bed chamber and all the rest of it. So, as I've said, in terms of who we might run into, I already came up this way, didn't I? Yeah. Queen Marika, oh, hang on, rooftops. I saw an item. Queen Marika, perhaps Radigan. Um, everyone else, probably in the lore that we've come across, uh, that we've read about, we've kind of come across already. Thank you. Rooftops. The hero's rune, alright. So, we're trying to find Gold Mask, we're trying to find Sir Gideon, definitely. Rani might show up. I'm getting a bit nervous now. I am prepared to be to make a copy of my save at some point here. I feel like I might be able to see gold mask from somewhere, but all of the branches and stuff are, are gone, so
Is that Golmas? Wait, that's uh, that's Gideon. Gideon, isn't it? It's got the hand clasping something, and yeah, that's 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 Gideon. Interesting. I've been waiting for him to turn on us at some point here, because he's just been using us for in for intel, essentially, right? Yeah, definitely him. Although, it might not be, his head looks a bit bigger, but I think that that's his staff. It's like a hand clasping something, right? And he's got that eye just above his navel. Alright. Right, if we. I don't know if we're going to have to fight him. I think he's going to get someone else to fight us for him. But if we do have to fight him, there's going to be some magic. I knew you'd come. To stand before the Elden Ring. To become Elden Lord. What a sad state of affairs. I commend your spirit, but alas. None shall take the throne. Queen Marika has high hopes for us. That we continue to struggle. Unto eternity. Sorceress. Oh, okay, so he's gonna have he's gonna be a, a collection of everybody else, right? I mean I am gonna squash you. Serious man, you're gonna turn into Melania. I always knew you were a filthy sorcerer. I'm dead. Dude, why are you trying to fight me? Oh! Okay. He just did one of the regression magics. Is he healing when he does? <laughs> oh, what? Where did he get all the health from? Oh, so he's gaining... He's like Melania. If he, if he damages us, he gains health back. Yeah. Fair enough, dude. No, I mean, you've got to squash him then. Pressure. Oh no, maybe he just maybe he just used a flask, I don't know. Not even you. A man. 
cannot kill a god. Scepter of the All Knowing and a Ring Wraith <laughs> helmet. All Knowing set. Interesting. It's a bit of a shame he just decided to turn on us right at the end. In, in like a subservient way, right? It's not like he said he wanted to become Lord himself. Makes it a little strange. Can't imagine it's heavy gear. Because he's such a weakling. A book reading sorcerer. Oh, it's pretty heavy. Helm set with countless eyes and ears worn by Gideon Ofnir, the all-knowing. Knowledge begins with the recognition of one's ignorance, the realisation that the search for knowledge is unending, but when Gideon glimpsed into the will of Queen Marika, he shuddered in fear, and the, at the end that should not be. Interesting. glimpsed into the will of Queen Marika. So, fear, I guess. At the end, it should not be... Is it like a small hammer, or is it a staff? No, it's a staff. He was casting magic with it. Guess not. Maybe it's a weapon too? Could it be like a mace, maybe, that can cast incantations too? There is a little hammer. Scepter in the form of a hand grasping a pearl, signature weapon of Sigidi and Ofnir the All-Knowing. The pearl stands for the worlds, the heavens and an eye, representing the many forms of knowledge never fully attainable. Even knowing that, the All-Knowing's hand grasps for it. The skill, knowledge above all, raise the scepter to manifest the realm of the All-Knowing. Enemy magic and holy damage negation will be reduced for all within the area, including the caster. So can you I don't don't think you can use it to cast incantations but. the armor looks cool from the back but the texture looks a bit weird in this light yeah it looks kind of like the textures a bit too is really dull it looks quite nice though it looks better than it did on him Alright, let's uh I don't know if we've got enough for a level up actually. No, I need another fifteen. Finally 16, uh, 60 vigor. And any remaining points that we might pick up, I will put into strength. What are we going to encounter up here? So, if we're talking about the protectors of Queen Marika, that would definitely include. Um, Radigan, but oh, they might be the same person now. So, um, how do we get over there again? I've just gone complete. I've just I'm drawing a complete blank. Is it this way? Is that a ghost? Interesting. He is returned. The Lord has returned at long last. Our very first Lord to brandish the Elden Ring once more. Oh, that's uh, that means Godfrey, right? Godfrey is the first lord. 
if I remember correctly. Okay, so I guess we did only fight the illusory version of Godfrey, which is why it was maybe a bit easy. <laughs> might not be that way now. Uh, the vines might not still be there, so I don't know how we're going to get up. Yeah, they are. Fair enough. Oh. I mean, how, am I I'm drawing a blank? How do you uh, get across? You, we need to go up there, right? Was there a ladder that I'm just completely blanking on? No, it's this, uh, it's this thing here, you idiot, man. You already walked past it. Alright, uh, god, I'm a bit, uh, I'm not sure I want to go here this straight away. I kind of want to make a copy of my save before going through this, because it's, it's going to be difficult to know what the point of no return is. Yeah, I might, I might make a copy of my save at this site of grace. Got an item in here. Still not found gold mask. Might check the comments for advice. Third tree heal. Golden order stuff, right? There it is. Heals a vast amount of HP for the caster and nearby allies. Hold to continue praying and delay activation. The Erd Tree once flourished with abundance, yet it was only for a fleeting moment. Such is the course of all life. Okay. Yeah. Just part of the natural cycle, right? Okay, um, I'm going to make a copy of my save and I'll just quickly check if there were, was some advice about Gold Mask in the comments. Cause as I said, when we arrived here, that was me saying, right, most of the other, most of the quests that I've not found, like, you know, this is like bonus stuff that I've been doing just in the last couple of videos. Um, you know, in terms of, I'm not classing this as part of my canon playthrough, where I, uh, in terms of what I found by myself, you know what I mean? All right, I'll be back in a sec. All right, I've made a copy of my save, and uh, one of you did tell me the rough location of Gold Mask, so uh, I was in the right area. We did need to climb up the dragon. But I'm just going to go try and find him. Killing Gideon, uh, defeating Gideon might have changed things, but... Let's find a quick way down. <laughs> Um, it's over here, I think. Like, down here somewhere. Should be easy enough. And then I'll save whoever or whatever is in Morgoth's former boss room. Can I make that jump? Probably not. <laughs> oh wait, or oh, do we walk between this gap in this gap? Probably not. But... Well, I might do. Yeah, I think this is the way. I think I was supposed to drop down. Bah! <laughs> Never again. 
Ah, he's toast. But he's got his own mending room. Interesting. Mending rune of perfect order. Wait. He's dead in his T pose. Right, we've got three mending runes, and however, we're supposed to connect this to Rani. This does look like a sunflower. Rune discovered by the noble gold mask used to restore the fractured Elden Ring when brandished by the Elden Lord. A rune of transcendental ideology which will attempt to perfect the Golden Order. The current imperfection of the Golden Order or instability of ideology can be blamed upon the fickleness of the gods no better than men. That is the fly in the ointment. So this perhaps kills all gods, demigods, and Empyreans. And lets the tarnished or the or man inherit the inherit the earth or inherit the world. This world, whatever this world is. So the living inherit the world, the dead inherit the world, or the cursed inherit the world. Or another god inherits the world in Rani, perhaps. Or chaos inherits the world. That's I guess that's the five splits I've got in my in my head here. Okay, I found him a lot quicker than I anticipated. So I'm gonna see what's in this boss room. Probably Godfrey, right? Right, right, right. Let's prepare ourselves. Don't need you. Um, <clears throat> he was using. Uh, like he's like the ultimate crucible knight, right? So he was using oh, so maybe holy defense. I don't know what would be useful against him though. I think we just go in bare bones for the first few attempts. Uh, I, have, I have got I can use a black flame, can't I? Yeah, which might be useful against someone as noble as that. All right, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. We've got three mending runes. Let's uh, look out for. I can't imagine there's any summon signs, man. There's, everyone's dead. Can we get a sneak peek? Oh, Nefeli! Hello there. <laughs> yeah, she's alive. Who have we got there? Looks like wings. Hang on. I'm not going to be able to get an angle to use the uh, telescope. Okay then guys, I'm actually just going to leave it there. I know that this video is a little shorter, but you know, we have accomplished quite a lot, you know. For uh, Sir Gideon, we've got two more mending runes. So we'll uh, go through this boss door, because this might be the final boss, I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm not going to summon the Feli. At least on the first attempt, because this might be like the hardest thing in the game, so... Right, hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. And just remember, everyone, never trust an on-crate. I'll see you next time.